everybody and welcome back to Factorio. I, of course, am Serbian, and uh, today we're just going to set up a little uh, purple factory. Now, science packs. Thank you. Um, so, purple science packs, right? It says it takes 12, and it does take 12 to cycle through one of the artifacts. Uh, what do we need? Power armor 2. Power armor 2. No, we need efficiency three. Oh, we're gonna need a lot more science packs. Okay, doesn't matter. Um, so it says it takes twelve for one, right? But it produces ten, so it's actually closer to one point two, um, which is actually faster than science pack three by a long shot, and it actually makes it the fastest um, to produce. So these four. Level 3 assembly machines should be more than enough. Uh, I've set requesters for for alien artifacts. Um, now, I believe we need 10. For the power armor itself. Okay. So, I'll up this to 40. And we need 20 electric engines. Actually, we need power armor 2, which is 50 alien artifacts. Okay. You know what? We'll get a lot more than that. That's fine. So, set alien artifacts here, and I'm going to drop... Alien artifacts in there for expulsion. we go. Then now they're outputting. There's the artifacts. And now they will be producing. Very nice. Alright, we now have all four sciences. That was nice and easy. Ah, let's go get some more artifacts, me, I think. Um, our power, it has just tanked. Yeah, our power has just tanked. You know what? What we need more is we need more pa We need more electri electricity. Um, so. Build a rubber port. But yeah, we'll do the, um... We'll do the basic power armor first, I think. Get up. There we are. And we need a big power pole. There we go. And now we can build a huge thing here. Looks perfect. Almost perfect. So we can slot that one in there. Um, I also want to can um, make a smaller um, modular blueprint of this big one. And that is going to be essentially these ones. So that's smaller. So that's basically one quarter. And with this, we can pretty much. Can we? Yeah, with this we can basically rebuild chunks of it. Without having to build the entire thing. Yeah, I can't build. 
build that one there. Oh, look at that. That is flawless fit. Uh, put that one there. That looks really good to me. I don't know how they're all going to fit in with each other, but... <sighs> that is fine. That's all connected up to each other, and that one can be connected to that one. So that is perfectly acceptable. Um, I will need something that builds substations. Steel, advanced circuit, copper plate. Um, something here will be sufficient. One of these blues. Well, within logistics. So, request for chess. And fighter chest. One in, one out. A power pole. Substation. And we are requesting steel plate, advanced circuit, and copper plate. So, steel plate. Electronic circuit, was it? No, advanced circuit. Advanced circuit and copper plate. I could probably pull copper plates from there. Actually, yeah, if we move this entire thing up one. If we take this and drop it here, that will be perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. Check how much of the configuration has actually remained intact. Uh, this one I will set less than 10. Perfect. And yeah, that's remaining. And we don't need the copper because that's getting pulled in manually. Once the copper gets there, of course. So that is all good and well. Um, might as well start... Ooh, we're almost there. A 10 any artifacts and an electric engine unit. This one's done. That one's done. That one's done. That one's done. That one's done. These are still going. But our output is insufficient. Our copper is doing well. But yeah, no, uh, I forgot to turn the call back on. There we go. I wonder we weren't getting any copper out. <clears throat> Alright. Coal is now getting split. Now, I'm sure there's a splitter combination that basically does this. But I can't be bothered to look for one, so this is what you will get. And you know what? It, it's, it's a little more power intensive, but it does the job. And there's n basically no guarantee of failure. And it's infinitely expandable. If that's not fast enough for some bizarre reason, maybe, I don't know, maybe we have blue and like a hundred miners. If that's not fast enough, you just expand it down.
Okay. Getting coal. Coal is fine. Um, and our copper production is back up to 100%. These guys, are these guys connected to anything? Yes, those are connected. I think it's daytime. Yeah, no, it's early morning. Power, power plants are kicking in. So we're getting an output off the bat there. So, um, and our accumulators are lasting approximately just shy of half the night. Like. Although they didn't last this at any time at all this night. Something went kablooey here. I'm not sure what. Oh, something just came online. I think this power plant over here just came online. Yeah, because the, um, the substations would have been hooked up now. Look at that. That's nice. So we have a total reduction of 26.2 megawatts. That's not bad, I think. And we still have 19 assembly machine ones. Here. Only in places are uh, over here making greens unnecessary. Don't need to upgrade those. Um, I also want to be producing laser turrets in case any of them happen to get destroyed. But more importantly, I need that power armor. The electric engine units are not being supplied to a provider chest. Mainly because I don't think they really need to be. Like, there's only so many things that electric energy units are actually being used for that's not um, automated production. There we go. Electric engine units. Uh, I suppose I need a few. There we go. So, 50? So that is an exoskeleton for us. Oh, no, we need... Yeah, no, that's fine. So now we need steel... We need to go find 10 more alien artifacts. To the tank! This is a very bad idea. Dismantle all of this. Um, what I might do is I might just keep it on me. 100 piercing, 100 cannon, 100 high explosive. I'll just load it up manually. Um, cannon shells. Pop up with wood. Offload iron ore. And away we go. Let's go to battle. Alright, so today we are heading south, I think. Um, to unlock that additional oil, because eventually our oil supplies will run dry, and we are probably going to need them. I'm not going to punch through the forest. I will go around, because, uh, easier this way. 
Uh, don't care about them. You know what? Let's just punch through here. Funnily enough, that is exactly what I tried to do in my Cataclysm gameplay. Uh, let's play. Didn't work out anywhere near as good. have 24. That is enough for a... Hmm. Do I want to wait for power, for power armor 2? I need 50 for that. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go for power armor 2. Switch to high explosive. Kaboom. Got a big butter there. That's a big worm. You know what? Let's switch back to hot back to armor piercing. some of these things. They are taking a substantial amount of damage, but... That will be fine once we repair it. Penetration. Big one. Alright, let's take these guys out. Take these spitters out first. Boom. Yes! Mission clear! Only took 40 shots of armor piercing. Um, we have 107 alien artifacts. That will do for today. We have taken significant damage. And I think it's time to head back to base. Oh, okay. A little bit more. we have now. 145. Yeah, that will be sufficient. Take 
miss any of them. We need 40, right? 50. Punch through. Run, forest, run! <laughs> nice. Alright. That is excellent. Let's head back for repairs. Forest means nothing. This is most excellent. Alright, fix the module 3 for... What I might do... Could set up a module production. Because modules need blues. Right. So... We need 200 blues here raw. We also... Oh, the, the, the speed ones. But we need... 10 rocket control units per rocket part. And we need... Oh, we don't need any rocket parts. But I think it eats rocket parts once built. Because the satellite itself needs... Low densities, it needs... Uh, no, that's fine. But yeah, I think it eats rocket parts as it builds the rockets, which it needs 10 control units. So we are going to be eating a lot of blues. Um, I might actually double up on science as well. Where's the science? There's the science. Yep, everything we need here. Ten labs. Uh, we need ten reds. <coughs> and yellows. End up building a lab? Yes, I did. There we go. Alright, ten labs worth. Off they go. Well, come back momentarily. There they go.
How's our production look? Yep, so our solar panels now produce way more than our steam engine does. Alright, there's efficiency 3. Um, I will quickly bang out lab speed 3 as well, before we do anything else. Just because it's taking so bloody long to get, any, to get anything done. Um, I'll have power too. You know what? I've got over 60. I will make a power armor one. No, no, no. I'm going to save it. How is this working? Hopper. Yeah, we're barely getting any copper reaching the end. I think it's about time to upgrade the iron and copper bus with reds. Don't really need it down here, but just here. <clears throat> Feed me more reds. So that's gonna that's gonna help with the iron plates because now this line is running at high speed and it's priority. The iron plates should not be an issue anymore. <clears throat> and on the ground. Oh, and take these away. Another bed on the ground, yep. Yeah. Splitter. Or maximum throughput. <clears throat> I think I'm outside of logistics range. I have done this a long time ago, actually. I'm considering a se uh, a second. Yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna reorganize this into a giant copper refinery, won't we? Yes. All right, iron is done and done. Only a little bit left there. I think it's about time to book this in. All right, there's lab research three, and we're not gonna waste five hundred for lab four. Um, we need power armor, so that means speed module 3. Um, now, how are we going to hook this in? Through this way, maybe. I mean, running a fair amount of undergrounds. We 
can't get an underground belt through here. We could if we shifted this entire thing over and put it here, then we could get underground through this section. I think that could work. One more blueprint. Now, what, the other thing I'm going to do is... No, I'll just take the whole thing. Press save. Now dismantle. And... Relocate. Yeah, once it's marked for deletion, it is not considered a um, intact structure, so you can put blueprints over the top of it. Um, we are a little bit over time, but I want to get this thing done, so... Let's do this. Speed run. Um, hook it in right around here, or alternatively, add it to here, which means we need to move this splitter. What was it, Tad? So we got that feeding in now. Got the main line here. Feed me. Feed me. Splitters, iron for some. Bingo, done. All right, and that is it. Robots will take care of the rest. We now have our major line operational. Um, just need one of these here to restart these, and we are good to go. Alright, 
that should sort out iron for a very, very long time. So, with that, we'll, I'll, put a bre I'll put a cut in the episode. Um, do like, and subscribe, and all the usual. And I will see you in the next time. Might need to kink this. Um, when we... Um... Hang on. What's it doing? Right, this way. Um, when we continue on, continuing on, and working towards, uh, well, at the moment, working towards power armor, but once we get that, and a bunch of modules for it, um, then it will start on the rockets. So, like, subscribe, all the usual, and I will see you next time.